Hey peeps, thank you for coming back to my channel, Dr. V's Gorner. I'm so excited you made it to this video. Um, this is the end of the Nordstrom anniversary sale saga. So this is my fourth video on it. If you've missed any of the other videos, I'm going to link them all at the bottom. I had recommendations, my first try on haul, what I would put my money towards, um, this or that, on what to buy. And then this is my last try on haul featuring my husband, um, also showing the items that he got from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Again, thank you for coming back. I really appreciate it. My channel is beauty, uh, lifestyle. The biggest thing that I do is deals. I love to get the best items on the best bargain deals. So if you like that, please come back, subscribe, and please like it. I really appreciate it. Um, I put a lot of work into this. And then with that, I will do the try on haul. Okay, so for our first outfit, we have my husband here modeling our t-shirt. First one is the Men's Sport Performance Graphic Tee by Marine Layer. It's the color gray. Um, it's also called anthracite. It's very light, very breathable. Um, it has really nice length. It goes um, down a little bit by the hip. We have the seam on the side. It's not too stand out. And the shoulder looks really nice on that. This is a size small. The material that it's made out of is 94% polyester and 6% spandex. It is machine washable. So we really like that one. Very light, very breathable. Okay, so we're gonna go down to the shorts. This is one of his favorite shorts. He actually got them last year in a different color. So this one is the Zella Tori Performance Shorts. This color um, is in Must Henna. And this one is a size 30. And it has, okay, so the shorts are Zella. They are called the Tori Performance Shorts. They're in the color Rust Henna, size 30. They are very slim fitting. There is three pockets, three functional. There's a fourth that's a design um, in the back left. So the back right has the zipper and we have two functional pockets in the front. Um, very soft, right? Very breathable. And it is 71% nylon, 29% spandex. So with the shirt and the shorts, they're very easy, nice for the summer. They don't make you sweat. He actually got the same shorts last year in black. Um, so that's why this year we wanted something a little different. And then with the shoes, actually, they are from Vans. And these were actually, <laughs> that's not how you do it. You do it like this. Oh. And then, yeah, there you go. Okay. Vans, the slip-ons. These are actually last year's. I think this year they're full price. I'll still link them down at the bottom if you do like them. Um, he really enjoys that gray color. It goes quite a bit with most of his clothes. So definitely like this neutral gray. Um, especially with this summer outfit. Okay, so for our second outfit is another Zella, but this one is a shirt. So that one is the Dragger Performance Polo. Normally $49, $32.90 for the sale. Um, this one is also pretty breathable. This one comes in like a blue, a black, a white, but he decided to go with something a little different. He doesn't have a lot of that rust um, henna color. And this one is made out of 100% polyester with the collar, and it has three buttons there on the top. So depending if you wanna open it for more air or if you wanna close it, make it more dressed up, that would be good for that shirt. And then with the shorts, um, these are already his, he already owns these. And then for the shoes, we have the Vans. So these are this year's Vans. And this one is the U Era Low Top Sneaker um, in the color Canvas Gray with the laces. Um, they're pretty comfy. It has this plastic sole on them. And these are actually men and women. They're unisex. 
So if you like that style, you can definitely grab that for yourself or a spouse. Um, really nice, very comfy, easy to do errands with, um, even like long days. So yeah, we really like this outfit. Okay, so for our third outfit, we're starting out with the shirt. It's a Tech trim fit pineapple print short sleeve button up shirt. So it is very texturized with this shirt. It's not very flexible. Um, the sleeve is very nice. It's actually not all the way down to the elbow, so you have some more room to move there. It does have the collar at the top and it does have the buttons all the way down. Um, this one is nice to leave untucked or definitely tuck. It is pretty long. It has that front pocket up there. And this one is originally $69 and it's gonna go down to $49 for the sale. That one is 77% cotton, 15% cool max polyester, um, which helps with moisture. So it keeps you actually dry and comfortable throughout the day. And he picked the, a lighter color, especially for the summer with the heat. Um, so really like that one. And then with the shorts, um, these he already owns. We thought it would be cute with the pineapple color. And then for the shoes, um, these guys are Olakai, Olakai. They are the Hakua flip flops. And that one is in the color dark Java faux leather. And this one is in a true size eight. Um, also, all his clothes have actually been true to size. So the shirt is a small, shorts are small. The shoes are size eight. These are leather um, or th synthetic upper leather with some rubber soles. These are men's shoes. It has the arch in the middle of it. Um, so it has really nice support with that. So really cute summer outfit for a barbecue. We're going out at night for a quick date night. Okay, so our next outfit is, the shirt is by WRK Work. It's a trim fit rose floral stretch performance dress shirt. This thing is silky, silky soft. Love that. He's in a size 15. Um, it has really nice detail there at the bottom. As you can see, it has really long length. You could leave it out or tuck it in. And then looking at the cuff of the sleeve there, it has two buttons and then one up. So you could actually unbutton that and roll it up. I love that it has a different pattern under the collar and under um, the cuffs as well. And this one is actually made out of moisture wicking fabric for dryness and comfort. And it is actually wrinkle and odor resistant. Um, so it was advertised that it's great for traveling. Super, super comfy. He really enjoyed this shirt. Actually got two different styles from it. We're gonna see the next one, but that one is really nice. It's 86% polyester, 14% spandex. It is machine wash line dry, and then it is true to size. Um, the jeans he already owns, and then again, the vans that we saw earlier. Okay, so our last outfit is another work WRK brand shirt. It's the trim fit zigzag stretch performance dress shirt. Um, these are originally $98, but they're a really good deal in the sale for $64.90. Again, these are super silky, super, super soft. Um, he was looking to upgrade some of his old, you know, nice shirts. Um, and these are just very breathable, especially in the summer. Um, so again, they're nice for work, nice for a date night. Um, it is wrinkle and odor resistant. And in the last outfit, we saw how he dressed it up more casual. This one is more dressed up ready for work, um, tucked in in slacks. And this is again, size 15. The pants he already owns, um, as well as the belt. And then for the shoes, these are actually Vince Camuto. Um, these were our, his wedding shoes actually. And 
we didn't find the exact same ones on Nordstrom, but there's something very, very similar to that one that I will link as well. Very comfortable, lasted the whole night. It looks really nice with the brown and the blue, um, but yeah, great outfit. It could definitely, you could see the cuff and the button down on the shirt makes it very classy. Again, you could dress it up or um, more casual. Okay, so our first outfit is, I'm gonna start with the top. So this one is from One State, and it's a size large. Um, it does have the openings here on the side, and it does tie in the back, right there. And the shorts I have are Topshop, size US 8. And these are just my black sandals. I love this outfit, it's so cute for summertime. Very, very light. Um, I wish you could feel that, it is super, super light. The only thing that I don't like about it, it is a very tight fit around the chest. Um, so I don't like that because I feel like it tightens back here. And I did do a little tuck in it. As you can see here is the length on it. Um, I really, really like the shorts. I think they are so cute. Like I said, they're US 8, and I do run eight, 8 to 10 in pants, mostly 8, it just depends on the style. Um, and I did actually order a size 6 to see what it would look like, but I think I'm gonna actually keep the 8. Um, so I do like the shorts. I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna wear them. <laughs> Um, probably on vacation or a really nice dinner. We've gone with friends out to dinner um, and one of my friends was wearing shorts similar to these, just like a dressed up shorts with tucked in shirt. And I really, really like that look with um, some wedges or heels, so cute. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this shirt to be honest, but probably gonna keep the shorts. And then I paired the outfit with these with this jacket from Caslon. Um, it's a utility jacket. I love it. I love the utility look recently. And I love that it has pockets here, super soft. Um, and then a pocket up here, here, here. You have enough pockets everywhere. Um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like. I love, as you could tell here, is the cinching of it. And this one is not as tight. It's really easy to actually tighten it inside. There's these little clips right here and you just press on it and pull on it and it just cinches it. So whatever look you're going for, I really like that. Um, it comes in different colors like navy and green. I do already have a green utility jacket. So this is why I wanted something a little bit summery as it's starting to get a little chilly in the fall. I think this is so cute. I do like it on the shorts, um, and I could definitely pair it with jeans as well. And this one is in the size large, so really, really love that. So I paired the same outfit with the CC top. I think this one is so much better. It goes really well with it. Um, very classy. I like the black and white so much and you'll see that a lot and this one is in the size large um, and I do like a little bit of the tucked in look but I also like it untucked and I think the shirt length on the shorts are really cute. It's not too long. It's not too short um, so I do really like that. But they do have this mock neck here going on. It can tend to get a little bit claustrophobic, uh, but it's not super tight. And I love the little rougher detail on it. I will link my video uh, from my first try on at the bottom so you could see the white one of it, which I actually ended up returning. I'm just too clumsy with white, so I thought this one um, would be better. So I ended up exchanging the white one for this one. So I really, really like this outfit. Okay, for the second outfit, I am starting out with this BP flannel shirt. This one is in the size small. Um, again, I am a size medium, large normally, but these ones are pretty roomy. 
Um, so that's why I ordered the small in that and I'll show you here in a minute. And it has these really cute buttons. You can pop them open and fold it if you like. I'm just gonna look a little weird with everything I'm doing right now with my outfits, so. Um, so you could just fold it up like that. Super, super cute. And it has buttons all the way down. This is a functional pocket. Um, I really like the length on it. It is very warm, like I said. I actually took this with us to a soccer game last weekend. And when I was ever <laughs> getting cold, I just put it on there. Uh, but I really, really like that. And for the pants, I'm wearing the Wit and Wisdom jeans from my last try on haul. And I actually did end up exchanging it to the eight petites. And those are the ones that I kept because they are shorter. The eight just kept getting bunched up. So I thought these would be cute with sneakers like that or with booties um, or even heels. It would look really cute. So these are the eight petites. And then my shoes are same Edelman shoes. And I will show you up close here in a minute. But yes, love this outfit. I think it's so casual, so cute. You could do the half tuck, you could fold it over. And I am wearing a shirt underneath, so you could actually leave it just like an open flannel and use it as a jacket, which is, again, that's how I used it. Um, so I thought that would be such a cute casual outfit during the day in the fall. Um, I do love that I actually got to fold this. I think it makes it look very cute. So like that, I actually picked this one up also in a different color and I will post that. That's actually the picture that you're seeing um, because I really like them. They're so comfy. I think these on white pants would look so cute in the summer. So just an idea. So these are the same Edelman shoes. They are made out of cloth right here, uh, plastic down there. As you could see here, it has a pretty wide opening, um, quite a bit of lace here so you could adjust that. It has really nice padding inside, and this one is in the size eight and a half. It has this embossment back here. So I kept the same jeans and shoes. I just wanted to show you the sweater. It's by Treasure and Bond. Um, this isn't a size medium. It is an off the shoulder. Um, so you could do it with both shoulders. You could do it with just one. Um, however, you know, you like this one. I'm still debating on again, size medium. Maybe I could size down on it. I love how it looks in the silhouette. It's just so there's just too much material. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. Like putting this in a jacket later would be very, very hard. Um, so I don't, I don't think I'm gonna keep this, but if you are taller than me, I think this would look so, so cute, especially if you have longer arms. Um, I could fold it over and it doesn't actually look as bad like that. Um, it is very, very stretchy. So if you saw in the video that I just posted on items, hits and misses, I talked a lot about treasure and bond. They're very flexible. So I could literally like keep just pulling this down and it would stay like that. And that's what I like about it. It is very roomy. So you could definitely go down a size from what you're at. I just don't know if I like the material on the sweater. Um, so yeah, this one is a maybe. So the third outfit that we have here is also very basic, very um, easy when you're getting ready just to go grab a few things in the fall or go to pumpkin patch or if you want to just accessorize it with a cute cardigan. I think this is a really good basic. So the shirt is Caslon um, and it is the size medium. It's $18.90. want to make it looser, definitely go a size up. I can't go like a size down. This is like perfect. And then for the jeans, these are the Wit and Wisdom jeggings that I showed in my last try on haul. I really, really like these. They're very, very soft, 
very, very stretchy here. Um, and this one is size eight petites. It's, I like it because it's something that I could, you know, if I need, if I got a little bit fat or something in the fall, I could still get into it. It is very, very flexible. I love the look of it. And then I paired it with these dirty laundry booties that I think are so, so cute. I am still debating on the color. I am looking at, like I have this color and I have a black one in my cart. So I feel like I might take the bullet more on the black one and maybe return these just because I feel like the black will fit my clothing more. Um, so, but I really like them super comfortable not too high i think this is so cute for just during the day okay, so these are the dirty laundry booties boots <laughs> to show you here up close it has this stretchy material right there so if you do have a wider foot like me um it's easier to actually get into and it does have this like cloth material and it doesn't have any other openings they're all just the elastic right here what i do love about it though it is very easy to get in like i said it has really nice padding in there it has the little loop if you're having a hard time putting it in your foot and i love the bottom of these shoes these are size eight and a half which is my normal like heel size so that's what i got in all my boots and high heels but I love this because it's so much better to walk into um, in Colorado in the snow. So this is so important that you have these grooves so you're not falling everywhere, um, which is what attracted me more to the boots. I love the look of it. The height is perfect. Um, it's not too high. So yeah, really like that. So with this outfit, I paired it with cream de la creme jackets. This thing is beautiful it's cut from the cloth it's a moto jacket um, it has the pockets here they're, oh they're actually pretty deep so there are two pockets right here it does have these cute little hardware on it um, on the shoulders as well here it has this asymmetrical zipper so I thought this is adorable this is definitely probably the most expensive thing that I bought in the sale. Um, so this jacket is normally over $100. It's down on sale to $89.95. And I actually did get it in the extra large. I got the large last year, but I felt it was still a little tight. I just like it looser. And I like how it fits around my body. I don't feel self-conscious if it's tighter. Um, so that's why I picked up the extra large in that one and pointer for you, which I didn't know at all um, That Nordstrom has like if you are just like a member with them you have up to $200 in alterations Included if you buy their stuff. So this jacket they actually did not even um, Charge me for alterations for that because it was something really small so I actually got the jacket altered because the sleeve was literally like all the way down to my fingertips. I got that altered and I feel like it looks so, so cute. I love the length on it. You know, hey, we'll include the alteration for you. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Um, so that was a selling point for me for sure. Okay, so I kept the same jeggings and the shoes that I had on. Um, just switched it to this shirt from one state I think this is so cute and flattering. It hugs you in the right spot for sure. I love that it's not too tight. This is the size large. Um, it does have this sheer sleeve on it and the v-neck. It's a little bit deeper than I like, but it's not going to make me uncomfortable which is what I really like about this shirt. I thought this outfit, minus <laughs> the shoes, if I got them in black, it would be perfect. Um, it would be really cute for a casual date night. It does have this like ribbing 
if you could see that in the shirt. It's not very see-through. I am wearing a nude bra under it. I would probably wear a black one um, just to be safe, but I thought this is just so cute and classy and simple. Okay, so as the weather gets cooler, we gotta switch to chunkier sweaters. So I am starting out with this sweater from French Connection. It's the popcorn sweater. Um, that's the design that it looks like. And it does have this cool neck. Again, it's not really tight. Um, so it is very comfortable, especially when it starts getting colder. You definitely want that coverage up here so you stay warm. It does have the three-quarter sleeve. That's the kind, that's the thing I'm not really sure about, to be honest. This is more on the expensive sweater. That's why I want it to be perfect, or else it will just sit in my closet and I won't wear it. So that's the only thing that's kind of holding me back. So I am thinking about that one, but I love, love, love the pattern so much. And also the pattern down here at the bottom, it makes it very flowy. Um, and this one is actually in the size small. I did order the extra small so I could try it and see if it will look, you know, just a little bit tighter. I think I would like that more. Um, the sleeve is not very tight at all. You actually have quite a bit of room in it. So that's why I wasn't too scared to size down just to see what it looks like. That It is heavy for sure. So if you live in a colder climate, like us here in Colorado, this is perfect. If this just had the full length, I would have been happier. But I feel like it wouldn't be bad, especially if you're gonna be wearing a jacket or anything on top of it, and you don't like that bulkiness. Like, especially here, I have my watch. I probably wouldn't wanna have this and the sweater and a jacket. So it might be actually a good option for you. And then for the pants, I have the cut from the cloth black pants. And these have um, like a raw hem at the bottom. This is in the size eight petite. I was so excited to find these jeans. That was the one thing I didn't buy last year was black jeans. I got a lot of blue jeans. So I really wanted some black jeans. And this one again, I will link my first try on haul. You can see it with other outfits. Um, but I love, love, love the fit. And it's very soft compared to the Wit and Wisdom jeans. That's also in the other try on haul. And for the boots, these are the Mia boots. I love these. I like them, but I'm gonna talk more about it in the close up of why I'm kind of debating on it. Okay, so here are the boots, booties up close from Mia. Um, the heel on it is actually a little taller than the dirty laundry one. And I wanted to show you the embossment on it. It's like a crocodile skin look. And I do love that. It's a little bit Western, but not so much. It does have the pointy toes up here and it does have a full length zipper. Um, so if you have a bigger foot like me, a little wider, it's easier to get into it. And it says inside it's a contoured footbed. Um, so it does have a little bit, just a tad bit of platform in the front to make it comfortable, but not so much. Uh, but I actually don't think they're uncomfortable, to be honest. My only concern with this is when I... I've just been wearing it around the house very, very little, like 10 minutes or so when I'm trying some outfits on. And you could already start to see the creasing here. And I don't know if I like that. I feel like if they had the wider foot, um, it wouldn't have that. So that's the only hiccup that I have with these boots. So I am thinking about ordering the other ones, the suede ones. Maybe it won't have that creasing, even though I love the color and the style and the design on it but yeah and this one is also eight and a half so i kept the same jeans and boots on i just switched the sweater so this one is from caslon it's a crew neck sweater that one is a size medium it's this beautiful purple mauve color um, with a thread of black in it I love that. I didn't see that at all last year or the year before. So I thought this was super, super unique. And this one, again, is this in the size medium. I did order the small to see if it would fit better. Um, I actually would not be opposed to keeping the medium. 
I just want to see if it's going to be more comfortable, more hugging, especially in the winter when you're going to wear a jacket on top of it. I don't want it to be super loose. And it has a little ribbon down here and also at the bottom of the sweater. I think this is so cute, so, so comfy. It is very, very soft. Again, in cold weather, this will definitely keep you warm. So if you're looking at a sweater to spend money on where it's not super expensive, but it will keep you warm, it looks really cute, this is my top recommendation. I absolutely love that, and I spoke about that in the other video that I posted um, on what sweaters to ditch and which ones to put the money towards. I love this one. Speaking of staying warm, I added this sweater from Madewell. So many people talked about it last year that I felt like I was missing out. So I did grab it this year just to see what it looks like. This is the color black. Compared to my pants, it's definitely like a lighter black. That's why I wanted to wear it with the pants so you could see that. It has these pom-pom details. I think they're so cute. Um, some people said it's a little older style. Um, so I am still debating on it. It does have these really cute pockets. It has a little slit, so you have a little room in it. And this one is in the size medium. So I got my true size. I wish it had buttons because I think if you could button it um, with a sweater like that and jeans, it would look really cute. That's one of the things that's holding me back. It is $74.99, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Madewell is supposed to be a really good brand. This is the first year that I'm trying their stuff. It is heavy. I could tell you that for sure. So I actually could have par paired this with my long sleeve shirt and would be totally fine. Uh, maybe if I do end up keeping it, that's how I will style it, like with jeans and just a white or even the rust spice that I had on, a uh, little long sleeve with this. I think I just love it because when I did try it on that way with my long sleeve and jeans, it looked like very plain at the bottom and then you added this and it just gave it a little spice to it on I'm still debating on. I just wanted to show you to see if you guys were wanting to pick it up. So who wants to go to the pumpkin patch? I think this is the cutest little outfit for that. Um, I will talk about the boots and the close up. My sweater is Treasure and Bond and I did talk about it in my other video. This one is in a size medium. I do have this ordered in a size small. Um, just because I think it is still really, really big and I feel like it makes me look like a sack of potato a little bit. Um, so I want a little bit more cinching to have my hourglass shape show up. Um, so that's what it looks like. I love the pattern. So just like the Caslon sweater, it has like a little thread. So does this one. It is like this rust orange color um, with a little green in the thread. And I love that. Again, I didn't see that in the last couple of years, so I'm really liking this style. Um, so definitely keeping that, just gonna get the small. Like my hands does not look good. It's just really baggy. And then for the pants, these are the coveted Spanx legging pants. Um, these are a little bit of an expensive purchase. I think they're around like 69. But everywhere I've seen, and I've tracked it since last year, they don't go cheaper than that. Even on Black Friday, they don't go that cheap. So this is the cheapest, the price that you're gonna see. And it really does like suck you in. I just wanted to show you that. Like the band goes really high. Um, so I do love that. It really does suck you in. I like the style. It has this braiding here on the side. People had said always oh, size up. So these are the petite large. So I am still, they are definitely more flexible um, than my petite medium. So if you do like it this way, then I would get a size up. So if it, like, and I did get the petite because I am 5'2". And I was reading on the website, if you are up to 5'4", the petite looks really good. Um, so that's what I did because I think a couple years ago when I ordered them, I ordered the regular medium 
and they were horrendous. I'm like, why are people obsessed with these? It's because I got the wrong size. Um, here, I'm gonna hold on to my door to show you. So that's the length on them. So I have a little bit of bunching just because I am shorter. So I'm really happy I finally got them last year and now this year um, as another pair. It's definitely a really nice investment. Okay, so these are the BP Brin booties that I just have on. Really nice heel. I think this is so perfect, so easy to walk into. I love this heel height. Um, it doesn't have very much support. It's just the plastic that you see right there is all the support that you're getting in the front. It does have the V opening on both sides with a zipper here um, in the back. So if you do um, have a hard time sliding into suede shoes like these, um, it's easier with the little um, zipper back here. And then this is what it looks like in the bottom. So a couple of reasons why I'm not gonna keep these is I love the pointy look. It's just this is really, really tight on my foot. I don't like that. This is not comfortable for me. And the other thing is the bottom of it, they're very slippery looking. Um, and so if you're in a place like LA or something where it doesn't snow, this is so cute for a fashion statement. But for me here in Colorado, this wouldn't do much for me. So even though I think they're cute, they are definitely going to be going back. Okay, so I kept my Spanx pants and my shoes, but I wanted to show you the sweater from BP. It's the pleated stitch sweater. This is in a size small. Um, they also did the same thing with the sweater. So it's purple with a little bit of thread of dark purple, more of like a maroon color. And I love this added addition. So this is, like I said, a size small. Um, so definitely go one size down from whatever you're at. And it is not tight at all. It is very stretchy, very roomy, very heavy. <laughs> great for winter time if you get that snow um it has the cute little stitching here up here that i love i actually kept it last year i got the they had the gray and the beige and i kept them they're a really good price 14.99 i'm like you know i really like it might as well just keep both i try not to do that because there are new styles every year so i really really try hard to just keep one color of that sweater um, so this year this color came out, so I'm really excited. I don't think it gives you that much of a shape. Um, I think if you are wearing the Sphinx like that, it looks really cute. It gives you the booty, uh, but it also makes you feel slimming. Um, but I like these sweaters that I had a quick errand. But I thought it's so cute and warm. Um, so that's kind of the sweater that I have in plan for it is something like that. I have older sweaters that I'm trying to get rid of, which is why I have all these clothes that I'm trying on for you. I'm just, I'm just having like a little of a style crisis. Um, I just need to change my style. I've had same clothes for years and years and years. Like I have had shirts for 12 years that I just finally got rid of. So I am just trying to revamp my closet. That's why I am doing it kind of in the Nordstrom sale because, or quite a bit of it, because I do know their quality is good. I've been shopping the sale for two years already. This is my third year, so I know the quality is good. So that's why I only point out items that I know are worth the money. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. I am just not just going willy nilly. I am keeping items that I know I will wear that are worth the money that I will keep wearing. So I really love this cute sweater. Okay, from a purple hit to a purple miss. So this is the Free People long sleeve shirt. This is, believe it or not, a size small. And I even ordered the extra small thinking if I get it a little bit tighter, it will look better. I think it's just, it might just go back, to be honest. Um, I like the flowiness in it. It's just too flowy, too baggy for my style. I like more of a tighter fit. So if you like more breezy style, this might be really cute for you. Um, the arms and the sleeve, you could actually adjust pretty easily. So if you have longer arms, this would be perfect. It has these buttons up here and it has like stitching all around here. And then this kind of like ripped stitching uh, down here at the bottom. 
I just, oh my God. I showed it to my husband. He's like, I just don't think that's your style, which I do agree. It is. This is a huge bestseller in the sale every year. I have watched people on YouTube for the last three years and these two items are always the top sellers. And this one sold out so quick last year, I didn't even get a chance to try it. I think this is so stinking cute. If you are pregnant, I feel like you could really grow in it pretty well. Um, so I think that would be really cute. You know, are getting bigger throughout the fall time. I just don't think it's my style very much. Um, it is really, really long. So if you are self-conscious, of showing your butt or anything like that, this might be the shirt for you. Again, this for me, it doesn't look good on my five foot two frame. Okay, so something I am completely debating on is this cardigan. So this one is from Barefoot Dreams. This one is this in the size medium. So insanely soft, so beautiful. I love it. I love the color on it. Um, I think it's really, really well made. It has these pockets here. So I am debating on this because again, I am short and I feel like the length on it is not great for me, but maybe it does make me look taller. So you let me know down in the comments if we like this or not. I am debating on it. I got it in this color and the black. And I just, I like the circle cardigan more. I feel like it's perfect because it's a shorter length. It's perfect for somebody my height. I love that much more. I think this is adorable on taller people. So my sister is 5'4", so she actually might look cuter in this than I do right now. Um, but I'm just, I'm debating on it. So tell me what you think. Um, and then again, I'm gonna link my video at the bottom for my first try on haul. So you see what the circle cardigan looks like on me. But then this is the other one, the light cardigan. I think this is gonna go back. They are not the cheapest things. They are $76. I feel like it looks more of like a bathrobe than a cardigan, at least on my height. Um, so that is something I'm debating on. Let me know what you think. Okay, so additional items that I didn't have here with me before this last video, but I wanted to get this last video up. Um, so I'm gonna just put pictures of them right here of what items I still have coming. So I have these two French Connection sweater dresses. I finally got rid of all my sweater dresses from 10 years ago that I haven't been wearing. So I just wanted to upgrade my style with something a little different, something a little bit more feminine. 10 years ago I was in school, right now I'm a professional working, um, so I just wanted to upgrade my style from where I was. So these two I thought were really cute, really nice um, styles. One is definitely more flare, the other one is more skin tight. So I think I'm gonna lean more towards the flare when it comes in, but then I'm not you know, sure what's gonna happen. That's why I ordered both styles, both in the large, um, to see which one is gonna end up working out for me. The other item that I got, these earrings from Nordstrom, they are the two carats, total weight, I think they're cubic zirconian. Um, I have heard so many people talk about them, and people have said they have had them for years and they never tarnished. So that is something I definitely want. I wear a lot of studs for work, um, so I really like those, so that's why I wanted to get something a little different, see actually if it does tarnish or not. So I picked those up. I'm still waiting for them to come in the mail. I also have the Barefoot Dream socks that I'm waiting on. I did see them in store, but I kept debating on them, debating on them. Uh, but I did place my final order here before the sale ends, so I am waiting for that to come through. I heard they are really soft, and as you saw, I really love those Barefoot Dream cardigans. Super soft, so that's what I heard about the socks. And um, since I'm working more at home, I thought those would be nice and comfy. And then the last item I picked up is these Nordstrom blankets. I talked about this in my recommendation video. These are so cute with the tassels down here. They are a good price with $29.90, I think is the price. Um, so the original price is $39.50. It goes down about 10 bucks. I think these are so cute. We got ones last year. 
and I love it. I gave uh, one to my parents and one for us. So this year we actually took our niece and nephew with us when they had their first sleepover with us and we had them pick out each a blanket and we spent the night, you know, watching a movie and they each had their own blanket and I thought that was really cute. We're going to keep that at our house so whenever they come again for a sleepover, they have something of theirs that's always going to be here. They're also a great housewarming present. Um, again, I mentioned that before and I think they're a really good price for that. Also for Christmas presents, you can't go wrong with that. Anyways, with that, we will end our video. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support and you're coming back. Please again, like and subscribe. I really appreciate you coming and spending time with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye peeps.